Hey guys, so today, um, please excuse where I'm filming. I'm in my bedroom, obviously, but this was literally the only space that fit like all these suitcases, which is what I'm filming. Um, so anyways, I'm going to be reviewing the three like most popular suitcases at the moment. I have the Raiden, the Away, and then the Calpac, all in carry-on sizes. Um, I unintentionally ended up with all three of these suitcases. All of these were uh, paid for by me and my boyfriend. Um, long story short is I bought the Raiden carry-on at first, loved it. My boyfriend bought the Away for himself and then I ended up with a carry-on cow pack because at the time that I bought it, I was looking for the bigger check-in and at that time they did not sell the carry-on separate from the check-in so I had to buy both. But anyways, um, yeah, so I'm going to get into the reviewing. I am sitting here uncomfortably, but I'm going to start with the Calpac carry-on. I have the Astel in Milk Marble and it costs $125, so that makes it the cheapest of the three. But I would have to say that this is definitely the most thought out suitcase of the bunch. It has all the basic like necessities that you need in a good uh, suitcase. First off, it has 360 degree spinner wheels which means that you can easily uh, pull it from its side and then quickly like switch and drag it from the back. Um, if you are a heavy traveler like me, you would understand that having a suitcase with crappy wheels really sucks. On top of that, it has these nubs on the side which allows you to, well, put it on its side without scratching it up and without it falling over. It also has a side handle which is very very helpful. You do not realize how much you need one of these until you don't have one which the Raiden doesn't have, spoiler alert. It has this TSA approved lock which um, basically it, you can just like clip your zippers in here and you know it's locked. The TSA has a key so they won't have to like break into your suitcase or whatever and there we go to so just release it. Okay so let's open this up. So as you can see inside, it comes with um, built-in pockets. So on this side, it's like, you know, it's got these like strap things that you can strap together and like keep your clothes in without it like falling all over the place when you open it up. And over here you have two shoe pockets. So if you have like sandals, you can fit two pairs. Um, or if you have sneakers, just like one shoe each. It also has this little netted area that you can put, oh, it was totally unzipped already. But yeah, it has this little netted area where you can like put more stuff, so like electronics, cables, whatnot. And then if you open this up, this also helps to corral anything that you have on this side. Oh, and I also forgot to mention on the cow pack, it's actually expandable. So you can just unzip it here and it like, Struggles. Okay, got it. Did I get it? Yes. So it uh expands by like that much. So it gives you like an inch of wiggle room, but it's pretty nice um, to have. So next I have the Away Carry On. It is two hundred twenty-five dollars. This one is my boyfriend's. Um, it's supposed to have three sixty-degree spinner wheels, but I have noticed that. Um, when you pull it from the back and then you switch to like pulling it to your side, the wheels do get a little sticky and such. So I would say that of the three, the wheels are not the best, but it's definitely better than a lot of other suitcases that I've tried out. Um, it doesn't have little nubs on the side like the cow pack does, unfortunately, but it does have a side handle, which is great. Um, on top of that, uh, at the top of the suitcase, it has the TSA lock, which works very similarly. Um, you just have to put the zippers in and then you push to open. This does not come with it. This is just the GoPro mount that my boyfriend put onto, um, onto his suitcase, which I don't know why. But it does come with a luggage tag, which is cute. And over here on the back, you have... 
chargers. The Away suitcase is definitely the smallest of the three. Um, it actually has more space than the Raiden, but when I show you the Raiden, I will explain why. Um, so on this side, it's very similar to the cow pack in which you can keep clothes here because it has like the little straps and this away compression thing. I'll explain it in a bit. And then on this side, it's just like a net so you can keep like whatever else here that's loose items. Um, the away does come with a laundry bag included. It's cute, but I have no idea how few clothing you're planning on bringing if all your laundry fits in here. Maybe you just use it for like socks and underwear, but anyways. Um, so yeah. So here you have like this netted area where you can put, as my boyfriend does, electronics and such. And then you have the battery pack hidden in the lining. The one downfall is this battery pack, you have to access it using a screwdriver. The Raiden's is a lot easier. It does have this tiny little pouch, which I'm not sure what's supposed to go in there, but I think the laundry bag actually folds up and hides in here. But anyways, um, so yeah, you can put your clothes here and then using their away compression technology, which is basically just this thing, um, you know, keep it in place. It actually does work better for compressing all your clothes than the Raiden one does because you have this whole thing here to like push down your laundry and you can like, I mean, clothing, and then you can strap it down with these. So, then you have this netted space, which you can put whatever you'd like. So, that is the Away. Last but not least, I have the Raiden A22 Carry-On in light pink. It is $295, making it the most expensive of the three suitcases. It does come with an app, which is what sets it apart from the others. The app can let you track your suitcase and also check the weight of your suitcase and I think it will tell you the TSA security wait time for the airport if you like let the app know. Um, it's nice in theory but I don't use the weight thing as much as I probably should and on top of that um, the app is kind of buggy. It closes out on me sometimes and as for the tracking portion I think it only works if other Raiden users are near your suitcase. So basically until there are more Raiden owners in the world, it's kind of a moot point to have. So uh, the wheels are 360 degree spinners. Uh, it rolls more or less just as good if not better than the Calpac one. Definitely better than the Way. Um, but it does not have any side handles as you can see, which is very annoying. The TSA lock is also on the top, just like the um, Away one, and it functions exactly the same. Basically, you pop them in, push to release. So, let's open this one up. As I mentioned before, the Away is the smallest one, but the Raiden, I feel, has the least amount of space, and I will show you that in a bit. So, unlike the Cal Pack and the Away, it doesn't have any sort of like compression technology on one side and the zip on the other so you can alternate where you want to put your clothes it doesn't have to be this side or that side specifically but it does kind of suck because there is no compression technology so you just better be a really good packer it does have this little zipper side um, where you can put like whatever in it it does come with this like fancy I don't know I forgot what's in here I think like Airplugs, yeah, airplugs, a face mask, and this thing to like charge the battery with, which I forgot to show you that, but I will show you that later. Um, or I'll insert a clip. And then it also comes with a more legitimate size laundry bag than the Away does. But now if we open this up, This is where they hide the battery pack, and as you can see, it takes up more space than the Away one does. Like, you can see the handles and all this stuff. So you can't actually fit a lot of stuff on this side, which is very annoying to me. Um, but here is the battery. Unlike the Raiden, it's just Velcro, and then you unzip to reveal. 
and you can actually remove this if you want and use it as a portable battery. And on this side, it's very simple. It's just a zipper pocket. Ta-da! That's it. But this is where you're gonna get most of your space. And so that is the rated. Oh, and before I forget, wait. Here are the little USB ports. So in conclusion, I would say that these two are probably the most comparable. They're within a similar price point and they both have like the same features. So for example, TSA approved locks, uh, integrated battery packs, etc. But between the two, I would definitely go for the Away. Um, the Raiden, while it has the fancy app that sets it apart, um, it doesn't work for me like half the time and honestly, I could live without it. But on top of that, I just hate how it doesn't have a side handle. Like I just feel like whoever made this wasn't really thinking about the practicality of a suitcase when you're traveling because it's just like you really need a side handle. I never realized that until I like dumped my suitcase into that TSA check size check thing and I couldn't get it the fuck out. Um, it was very frustrating and very embarrassing. But anyways, um, yeah, I would definitely go with the Away suitcase. Now, if you don't care for the battery packs and you are looking for a cheaper price point, the Cal Pack is amazing. Um, I would have to say that out of the three, I personally would go with the Cal Pack. Um, it's really affordable, first of all. It comes in lots of cute like colors and patterns. And I love how it's just like way more thought out and it feels like it's definitely made by a luggage company. Like for example, it has a side handle, it's expandable, it comes with like the interior pockets. And then it also has like these little like nubs on the side so you can like put it on the side without scratching it up. Um, so yeah, I would say that I'd go for the Cal Pack. Also, I just don't really care for the battery pack aspect of these two. Um, it was great in theory, but I carry around a portable battery with me anyways when I travel, so it's very unnecessary to have it attached to my suitcase, especially since I am more likely to need it when I'm in the air, and this is obviously sitting in the overhead compartment, so I don't use the battery pack like 90% of the time when I travel. So yeah, um, my winner is the Cal Pack. But let me know what your thoughts are in the comments below and don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you all next time. Bye!